Hey guys, what's up? My name is Fatima A. I'm originally from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, but I grew up in Oakland, California. Um, to give you a quick little insight into my journey, I finished my collegiate career over at Ryerson University in Toronto. Um, playing overseas has always been a huge, huge dream of mine, but throughout my college career, I didn't really get the opportunity to play much. So as soon as my college career ended, I really had to work um, towards putting myself in the right position to get picked up for that following season. So um, I did whatever I could to, you know, go to the right events that would, you know, help me to make myself more marketable to teams to get picked up. Um, I ended up, you know, playing at this combine in Seattle. I did really well there. Uh, from there, I used their film and I ended up, you know, doing all the things I needed to do to make myself marketable. I sent it out to teams to see if somebody would, you know, be able to take a chance on me for the following season. I ended up getting picked up to play in El Salvador that season. I did really well there. Uh, it's kind of a shady situation. Uh, I'll say that for the next episode, but I did well there. Uh, from there, I ended up being able to play in France in the NF3 division. Um, from there, I ended up playing in Australia, playing in the Waratah State League division. And now I'm in Norway playing for the Tromso Storm this season. Um, I think the most important thing to take away from this is that I really do a really good job of <laughs> trying to connect with the right people to help me continue to elevate with my career. Um, I made sure I went to the right events. I made sure I talked to the right people. I made sure I, you know, from every experience that I've had, I looked out for the red flag so that, you know, moving forward, I wouldn't put myself in the same position uh, as before. But honestly, I am so, you know, honored and blessed to be here to be able to play in Norway this season. Um, the team the last two years didn't really have the best record, but this year we are off to a 2-0 start. Um, I have such high expectations for us this season. Um, the girls here, they work really hard and I think we do a good job of pushing each other and we're working towards holding each other accountable. Um, and I think those are all the things that help to create a championship team. So, I mean, in my heart, I feel that we can, we can win a championship this year. But um, thank you guys for taking the time to listen to me. In the next episode, I'll, you know, give you a quick tour of the town that I'm staying in. Um, I'll be able to give you guys a little bit more information in regards to my background. But um, I hope that my journey is able to help you in regards to making the best choices possible for your, you know, upcoming overseas basketball career. Or if you're already in it, just to help you or to guide you um, making better decisions so that you put yourself in the best situations possible. But again, thank you guys for taking the time to listen to me. Um, all right, I'll see you guys next time.